Welcome to this short CNF-based network service design and deployment demonstration with VMware Telco Cloud Automation. Several network functions define a 5G core. These functions range from resource management, signaling, user data, to user plane. 5G architecture also follows cloud-native principles and uses containerized network functions, which is an important contrast to the VM-based LTE network. This demo highlights the use of Telco Cloud Automation to design multi-vendor network service and its instantiation over a distributed set of Kubernetes clusters in regional and local data centers. We will design a subset of the 5G core using SMF and UPF network functions. The SMF is the session management function, while the UPF takes care of the user plane. Both network functions interact through the N4 interface, as per the 3G PP standard. We first need to design our network service. The network service designer is a simple visual tool accessible from the catalog. The catalog provides centralized access to all onboarded services, which ease reusability. Since we have no NSD to onboard, we will go through the designer to create one. We will name the new service Demo 5G Core Subset. The design process will be fairly simple as we are chaining already onboarded functions. Let's start by setting the network service basic properties. We can also add interfaces to workflows for day one and two operations, such as scaling, healing, or custom actions by uploading the required artifacts. We will design the service by dragging and dropping into the drawing pane the network functions needed from the toolbar. In our case, we will use the demo SMF and UPF. Telco Cloud Automation unifies the management of PNF, VNF, and CNF, so we could also create hybrid services combining physical, VM, and container-based network functions. Once the network functions are added and configured, you can review the auto-generated network service descriptor and complement it with additional artifacts. Our network service descriptor is completed for this demonstration, so we just have to upload our new network service in the catalog. From the catalog, we can now instantiate the service. The instantiation process is also relatively simple and is divided into four main steps, network service identification, cluster selection, CNF configurations, service instantiation properties, and finally, a review of the configurations before deployment. We will identify our network service as instance 5G subset and set a prefix, so that all network functions which are part of that service will be easily identifiable. As you see below, the network service is composed of our two CNFs provided by different vendors, Demo SMF and UPF. The cloud selection step is crucial, as it specifies which clouds and clusters will be hosting our network functions. Telco Cloud Automation intent-based placement pre-filter clouds to make sure that the proposed ones match the network function requirements. Besides, for container-based network function, clusters can be optimized with late-binding configurations as well. In short, we have a set of clusters with basic configuration. Then, when we instantiate the CNF on the cluster, Telco Cloud Automation will configure all the cluster extensions and OS to support the CNF-specific requirements. As an example, in our case, the SMF requires some Linux-specific configurations which will happen at runtime to reflect the particular performance needs of the CNF. This late-binding process ensures better alignment between the application and the cluster while optimizing the resource utilization. For more details about COS automation and cluster configuration, take a look at the cluster deployment and CNF instantiation demos. We will select a local cluster for the UPF and a regional cluster for the SMF to match our objective to build a distributed network service. The inner site connectivity is assumed with an underlay network, and the inner cluster networking is managed through Multis, which is configured with the CNF Helm charts. Note that other networking can also be used. The different network functions of the 5G core network are also registered on the network repository function, or NRF, which is not showed in this short subset demo. Once the clouds are selected, we need to configure each network function. First, we specify the namespace and the artifacts repository, then all the required properties and inputs. What's required at that stage will vary from one network function to the other. To maximize utilization, you can also leverage an already instantiated network function as part of your network service. 
That's what we will do for our SMF. Similar to the network functions, and depending on what has been defined in its descriptor, we might have specific properties to set for the network service, which we don't have in this simplified case. So we can move to the review of the configurations and deploy this network service over the selected clusters. All actions of the network service can be followed from the inventory. Also, the tasks are logged to better monitor the process or for future audit. The network service and its underlying network functions are being instantiated. Let's fast forward a bit, and there we are. The service is now instantiated successfully. Once the network service is live, you can trigger workflows from the inventory at both service and network function levels. The available actions will depend on the network function and service descriptors. Typical workflows include healing, scaling, and updates. Note also that Telco Cloud Automation integrates with the carrier available CICD pipeline to automate the deployment of software upgrades. We have designed and instantiated a network service in a few minutes, taking full advantage of automation. Once the service is active, Telco Cloud Automation can report back to OSS through SOL5 and TMF standard interfaces. Thank you for attending this demonstration. Don't forget to look at the COS deployment and CNF instantiation demos to better understand cluster creation and optimization capabilities.